Hello my darlings, it's Dion Dean. Time for another thrift haul. This one is gonna be really quick. I didn't pick up that many pieces from Salvation Army Half Off Wednesdays, um, but I did get a very special piece that has kinda, um, what's the word, inspired me to do a try on and show you the different ways that I would wear this piece. And so I just got two pieces for you, so let me scoot back a little bit. I have my little rock and roll dress today. I know they were looking at me at day in daycare like, that's really what you, what you got on? like a skull shirt dress yes because I'm a rocker chick <laughs> so the first piece I know you guys have been asking me for the shawls and the capes and so I found this you know what I'm not gonna look at it too tough because I would keep this but I'm not going to keep it I'm not going to keep it I'm gonna put this up on posh but this I just love a tartan plaid and so this is the neck and so here we have a tartan plaid shawl cape shawl however you want to wear it I call it a shawl because it doesn't have the arms in it um, that's how I differentiate it but some of you may call this a cape some of you may call it a shawl however you want to call it I call it fabulous with the red oh that's so cute and so you can wear this with black pants or this would look really good if you have like a red leather skirt or like a black leather skirt and some red boots <sighs> just bring out all the color but you know there are what four or five colors in here that you can play with so this is gonna go up on posh this piece is really and see this is one of the things that I'm learning about myself as I go through this second third fourth whatever chapter in Poshmark um, you guys know that I've been reselling since 2001 and so that being said, I've used my my Poshmark closet, not pop I with eBay. I use my eBay store and Poshmark closet in so many different ways. And so now for me, I'm buying things that are fun and I'm shopping for women like me who like special pieces, who like unique pieces. Not to say that I won't get, you know, the bread and butter band brands and the designer denim and stuff, but I say all that to say I saw this. And I want to say it's actually, this was found in men's, but I want to say that this is women's. So I saw this sweater. This is, I really think this is men's. It says extra large. I don't know, but I saw this sweater. And so the front is suede, but the arms, are they cashmere? St. Cory knits for cousins. Cousins must have been a store at some point. But look at this gray and pale blue suede sweater or paneling in the front in the back it's just like the pale blue sweater material but oh my gosh and I know Golden Girls Dynasty Falcon Crest that's all my judge but could you see this with like some cream pants or a cream pencil skirt oh my god I fell in and that's the thing I be in the store like Oh, nobody grabs that it's beautiful anybody looking at this with me <laughs> but oh my gosh can't you see the pearls around the neck and then some cream pants oh her cream pencil skirt oh I just thought this was so elegant oh I love this so this is gonna go on posh this is not for me but hopefully one of you will catch the vision as most of my family does. I call you guys my family. I love when I find stuff like this and then you purchase it because you see the vision and then you tag me and I'm like, yes girl, slay! So, that's for you guys. Now this one is all mine and this is what I'm gonna do the, um, the try on video or the try on portion of this video because I found this brand new with tags, vintage. This is, just says women's size, distinctively different. And I don't know where it's from, but it's a 22W. God knows a 22W back then was probably a 16, a 16 now. But you guys know that Gucci is everything vintage Gucci is latching onto like they created it, darling, and they are not going to get my Monty. Um, I don't have anything against Gucci. I don't have anything against Alejandro McKaylee. It is what it is. They're a great brand, a legacy brand. Um, but I feel like every time I watch their shows, it's like a Goodwill fashion show. Like, even when I went to New York in April, and I went to the Gucci store in Soho with my students, I took our students there, and I was like, wait a minute, I know I've seen a, a couple of these pieces at the thrift store for like $7.99, why is it now $1,200? So I say all that to say I saw this beautiful sweater, 
And I was like, you know what? I want to show you guys how I would walk this so that... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I just had a chicken roti. And that pepper is kicking up in my chest. Whew. As you can see, I just had my Trinidadian cream soda too, so I'm not lying, okay? Whew. That roti is fighting me. Okay, so <laughs> I'm not editing this out. Um, so I wanted to show you how I would wear this so that when you're out in the thrift stores, if you see a beautiful metallic or just really funky print sweater, that you are inspired to get it and you know how to wear it. So ooh, let me go drag, uh, grab a drink of water because I've done the cream soda already. I finished the cream soda for those that do not understand patois. Um, so I'm going to grab some... <laughs> grab some water <laughs> and then we'll go ahead and show you how or a few different ways that I would wear this all right oh not geez mm -mm. Ooh. okay dolls so I'm going to give you the most adventurous one first and so what I did was there's my closet just in case you're wondering um, so I put on the sweater with a printed um, this is, I don't want to call this wool, but it's vintage wool skirt. And then my, oh gosh, you guys know that I love a boot, me and Chicago all day. And so this is how I would pattern mix it. This is how I would print mix it. I would do the purple with the green, um, because you know, I like to play with color and I'll actually like, I have a color class in my teachable school. And so if you want to know how I go about doing color, um, you can check that out. I'll leave a link below, but I would do purple and black, green and black, and then a black cute little boot. Since it's Chicago, <laughs> that's what my brain always is. But if you live in a cold place, if you live in Chicago, if you live in Denver, um, New York, Dallas in the wintertime, you can just put on a pair of tights. And so, you know, you may want to play with it and add a pink tight or a yellow tight. But this is how initially I would wear it because I love to mix prints. And so this is the first way. I love this. Because you know what? Um, I was going to end, but I just had an idea. Because you know what? Like this, it actually looks like a dress. It looks like it came this way, right? I love this. I love this. All right. So let's go for look number two. Here we have it. Again, my Victoria, <laughs> Victoria Beckham for Target pants. I love these pants so much. I might have to buy like another two or three pairs because I'm scared I'm going to damage them. But I love these pants and I love, love, love this combination of the black and the purple and the pink. This is an analogous color scheme. These are next uh, colors next to each other on the color wheel. And so that's why it just works. And so I think, you know, the metallic and the purple and the vibrancy of the purple and the vibrancy of the pant. I think anybody can do this. Um, I know some of you are not into color and I get it, but if you do want to just, you know, just give them a little bit, you know, try this out, try a pink pant. Okay, so how do you like, I think the first one was my favorite, but I, I'm kind of, I'm, I know I'm gonna be wearing it like this. This is something that I would wear in the classroom. The other one I would wear in the classroom as well, but I would wear this in the classroom when like <laughs> the college president comes in. I wouldn't feel like, cause sometimes he looks at me like, okay, I trust your vision because you are the fashion professor, but I think he would get this. I think even he would get this. All right, so look at number two, let's do one more. Okay, so here we have the look that is available to all, right? Everybody has access to a leather or faux leather skirt. Um, everyone in the Northeast <laughs> and the Midwest has a black leather skirt or has access to one, whether it be the thrift stores, um, whether it be the mall stores, you can find you know, a skater or an A-line skirt. You can wear this with a pencil skirt. It's just such an easy option. So if you find yourself in the store with a crazy sweater and it has black in it, black leather. If it has red in it, red leather. If it has blue in it, like just catch one of the colors in that crazy mixed up <laughs> Gucci style vintage sweater um, that you love and you're like trying to figure out how to wear it, leather skirt. You can go full 80s and give them a leather pant. I would definitely do that depending on, you know, where it fell. But for this sweater, this is just so easy. Such an easy yes, right? And so, yeah, 
How do you like this one? I like it. And I would, like I said, you can do an A-line skirt, you can do a pencil skirt, just depending on your body type and, and what you feel comfortable in um, and the types of skirts you like to wear. Over the knee boots, a little ankle boots, a little ballet slides. Limitless. Before I go, I wanted to show you what it would look like with the bag of choice. And so because I'm wearing a black leather um, skirt, I just wanted to keep it basic with a black leather bag. This is a Marc Jacobs bag that I got, Hollywood or Hollandale, one of those Goodwills. Um, it needs to be fixed. I can't show you because I have it in my hand, both of my hands are occupied. But, you know, if you wanna keep it basic, here you go. If you're a working professional and you don't wanna give them too much, you know, wear the, the, the out there sweater, Black bag, black leather bag, black leather skirt, plain shoes. There, you've tamed it down a little bit. Well, there you have it. I hope that you're inspired. I gave you three different looks, three very different looks for three very different environments. Or if you just want to be tame one day, but they give them everything on another day, you can do it all with one sweater. So don't be scared. You know, if you find a sweater that you really, really love and you're wanting to try it, remember thrifting is a great opportunity to try a trend without really like spending a lot of money. For me, this type of thing is not a trend. This is a way of life. <laughs> I am the what? Fifth golden girl. That's who I am. Um, but yeah, be inspired, live a little, take some chances and try it out, right? Doesn't cost a lot. Do it anyway. All right, I'm hot. It's Florida and I'm wearing a sweater. <laughs> Love you. We never pay retail. For more inspiration, you can follow me on Instagram at I am Dion Dean. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel so that I can give you more content and more different ways to wear your stinky thrift. <laughs> Love you. We never pay retail. Bye.